Welcome back, friends. The Coach Miller Light Show on the air. Today, continuing on, you know it, Abraham Hicks, Money and the Law of Attraction. I'm listening to it on Audible and passaging, which means writing down word for word what I'm hearing. So today's track was about four minutes long, which is a longer track in this book. And so at first I was like, well, I won't do the whole thing for the show because that's quite a lot of material to cover. Four minutes is a lot of material. But it was so good, I couldn't stop. So let's get to it so we have time to cover it all in a 10 minute video. Okay, so I wrote this down. Abraham says, whatever thought you're focused upon, whether it's a memory from your past, something you're observing in your present, or something you are anticipating in your future, that thought is active within you right now, and it is attracting other thoughts and ideas that are similar. Not only do your thoughts attract other thoughts that are of similar nature, but the longer you focus, the stronger your thoughts become and the more attraction power they amass. Good to remember that when I'm thinking a thought, I'm thinking it now, whether I'm thinking of the past or the future or imagining something, I'm thinking it now. So this is the thought I'm offering now. And that the stronger, the more I focus upon a thought, the stronger it becomes, the more traction, attraction power it amasses. Your thoughts dovetail one to the other, one connecting to the other, and so on and so on. Upon some subjects, because you've been pulling upon the negative rope longer, it's very easy for you to get off on a negative tangent. In other words, it just takes a little negative utterance from someone, a memory of something, or a suggestion that takes you into a negative tailspin right away. Don't we all know this? I surely do. And it's helpful to understand what's going on when that happens. Why are those sub some subjects when it's just like one little word or something I see or it, one thought I have, one memory that activates and then I'm in a negative tailspin? Well, it's because I have a lot of attraction power on that subject because I've been thinking of that subject that certain way for a long time. And so it's got a lot of pulling power on that subject. Your point of attraction predominantly occurs from the day-to-day -day things you're thinking about and as you're moving through your day. So we're trying to have this positive point of attraction, right? Understanding I'm a vibrational being in this universe based on attraction, there's no exclusion. So my, what is my point of attraction? What is the vibration I'm offering? Well, it's from the day-to-day -day things I'm focusing upon. You have the power to direct your thoughts positively or negatively. Abraham keeps saying this, right? I have the power, no one else can do it for me and no one can keep me from it. I have the power to direct my thoughts positively or negatively. For example, they give us a nice example, which I appreciate, it's very relatable. And this is my work right here. So they say, for example, you're in the grocery store and you notice something you regularly purchase has increased substantially in price. You feel strong discomfort wash over you. You may very well think you're just feeling a shock over the sudden spike in the price of the item. And since, you have, and since you have no say in what the grocery charges of the item, you think you have no option other than to feel discomfort about it. This is where it comes in handy to know what is that negative feeling. We want to point out to you that your feeling discomfort is not because of the grocer's action of raising the price of the goods for sale, but instead it's because of the direction of your own thought. Negative emotion means my thought is in a direction of something I do not choose. And my source energy, higher power, inner being is not in agreement with the way I'm looking at it. It doesn't see it like that. The source energy is seeing the positive side of the situation because every, within every particle of the universe, there's that which is wanted and the lack of it pulsing there for me to choose between. And that is my choice. Am I going to see the plus or am I going to see the minus? Because they're both present. Okay. Abraham says, your thoughts are tied to one another and travel quickly to heighten vibrational places. Interesting. Your thoughts are tied to one another and travel quickly to heighten vibrational places. For example, this is what I might say. This is on the negative end. I see the spike in the price and I feel the negative emotion. Wow, the price of this is so much greater than it was last week. This price jump seems unreasonable. There is nothing reasonable about the greed in the marketplace. Things are getting way out of hand. I don't know where it's all headed. It doesn't seem like we can go on like this. Our economy is in trouble. I can't afford these inflated prices. I'm having a hard time making ends meet as it is. I can't seem to earn it fast enough. That's one perspective. So we have one situation, something I'm coming to understand. It's not the situation. 
it's my perspective of it and I have the choice of the direction of my perception, the direction of my thought. So I can either see the spike in price and look at it like that, which has a negative feeling attached to it, which is my indicator that that's off course, that's not the thought to hold. That's my indicator, that's my guiding belt to pivot to a different perspective. This negative train of thought could move in many directions. That negative train of thought, right? It's a train, chugga chugga, woo woo, down the tracks. It's a train and it picks up steam the longer I stay on that negative train. It could go toward blame of the grocer, towards the economy, to your government. But usually it turns back around to the way you feel it will negatively impact you. Interesting. No matter who I blame, it usually turns back around to the way I feel it'll negatively impact me. Because everything you observe feels personal to you and everything is personal to you. Because you are offering a vibration, you're offering a vibration about it that is affecting what is being attracted to you by your choice of thoughts. If you're aware of the way you are feeling and understand your emotions are indicating the direction of your thought, then you can more deliberately guide your own thought. Once again, it's all about recognizing what my emotion is, being aware of the way I'm feeling, and recognizing when I feel negative emotion, it isn't because the grocer raised the prices. It's because of the way I'm looking at the grocer raising the prices. It's my perspective of it. That's why I'm feeling negative emotion, not because of the situation. And if I think it's the situation that I'm gonna go a, on a campaign to get that to change, probably by pressing against it in some way. But as we know, a few, a few shows back we covered, there is no no in this inclusion-based universe. Press against means come to me. It attracts it, it actually causes it to grow because there's no inclusion, exclusion. There's only inclusion. And now they give us another example of a different perspective of that same situation. The price is spiked, and here's what I could say. Wow, the price of this item is much greater than it was last week. However, I'm not aware of the other things in my basket. They could be the same or maybe even a little bit lower. I wasn't really paying attention. This one got my attention because it was so much greater. Prices do fluctuate. I always manage. Things are going up a bit, but it's working out all right. It is quite an impressive system of distribution that makes this variety of goods accessible to us. Same situation, a different story that I'm telling about it. And what I'm coming to understand is this is my life. How quality is my life? How joyful am I? How good do things go for me? It's these things right here. It's the day to day things I encounter from a price going up in the store. It matters, matters short for materializes. Eventually it's going to materialize. It's going to take time until it materializes. So understanding that's a whole other, whole other show. All right, we got more, more passage and we got two minutes, so let's get to it. Once you decide, I underline this because here it is again. Once you decide you care about the way you feel, you care about feeling good, you'll find it easier to consistently choose a little bit better feeling direction in your thoughts. When you desire to feel, when the desire to feel good is effectively active within you, consistent inspiration towards good feeling thoughts will be present and you'll find it easier and easier to direct your thoughts in productive directions. Your thoughts contain enormous attraction power. Isn't this great to know? Your thoughts contain enormous attractive power that you can harness effectively only by consistently offering good feeling thoughts. Now here's a really good point to close on is this consistency is going to be key in this, in this in situation. If I'm saying, well, this doesn't work for me. You know why? Cause I'm over here, positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. And I'm never gaining the real true power in that pure positive thought. Abraham says when your thoughts consistent, constantly move back and forth, between wanted and unwanted, pros and cons, pluses and minuses, you lose the, the benefit of the momentum of your pure positive thought. Pure positive thought has amazing power to it. So this is why to stay on the plus as long as I can. When I find myself in a good spot, milk it, milk the cow or the almond, whatever works for you to each his own. All right, people, great to be here with you. Until next time.